So tell us about the, this is the Windows project. That's right, it's, a, it's the window at the end of the long corridor on Warden Ward. And it was, it was actually your idea, wasn't it, Yosef? To get the patients involved with doing something on the window that the outside could see and that people on the uh, artists on the outside could respond to because at the time this was right at the peak of COVID we'd just gone into first lockdown and all our patients were ward um, they couldn't get off the ward all their leave was suspended they couldn't access any OT activities in the recovery hub or a anywhere there was no work there was no vocational work all there was was just being in their rooms on the ward and even at that time we were advised not even to do any activities on the ward because we weren't allowed um, patients in a room, we were only allowed one patient in a room at a time with us and obviously we were doing the two metre social distancing so it was just something to we could do in a big space and get patients just talking about it so yeah. So but you do one on one yeah, yeah. Well, so this this was kind of a collaborative thing. I think initially the first the first idea there was t three patients, and they were just playing around with colours and playing around with the acetate that we got. Um, so there wasn't really an idea; it was just something to do. Um, and then that sort of st uh, sort of steamrolled into different other ideas. But um, I can't. I think, what, what did you do first, your set? Was it, you, did you paint the rails or something? Yes, yeah, since yeah. I couldn't go on the ward, mm. so I, I, I could only from outside intervene. Mm. So it was Dalek then mm. uh, wanted to, uh, like, hence his drawings, kind of uh, actually draw these lines into the space, and then we would um, have the thick wires that would go, that would just, not permanent, but just temporary kind of thing, so that mm. uh, this would um, go. Um, uh, I lost it now. So yeah, so I was from outside having dialogue with uh, whoever I would call it on uh, when uh, Amanda was in, just on, on ask more to the corridor, somebody would come and then we would just play. But most of these things were not documented because just with hands and then maybe mm. moving things. Would you be there at the same time or different times? Occasionally we were at the same time. Yosef would call me and then we'd, we'd speak to each other mm. on, on phones, but the window was in you know, <laughs> between us. Yeah. And patients were curious about what was going on. Why was Yosip at the window? Why was it changing? Why, why could they see other things? Also, I, you know, Yosip took some photographs, but I was coming up quite regularly to take photographs at night and then show them what it looked like from outside during the day and at night time so that they could, when we were responding or coming up with new ideas, we could sort of change it around a bit. Is yeah, that, that's type of yeah. kind of this during the project possibly, mm -hmm. but I remember Warren once he was sort of doing something, or was it no John wasn't at the time. They John were all mess they were all playing around with it. Often yeah. we, it, it'd be one way in, in in the night when I went home and then it, they would have changed it around in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um when we had the lettering, I think I think isolate was the first sort of word we put on it, but they kept moving the letters around or trying to make mm. Um, rude words out of the letters that were on. Of course, of course. <laughs> but tell me, or yeah, like, or, or as a message outside to outside. Mm. So I, I remember coming up one night and they put a swear word on it, but only I could see it from outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like using codes. But uh, my curiosity never asked you this. Uh, what was the members of staff reaction on, on that kind of? Um, I th do you know what? I think at the time. The, the ward was so um, stretched and um, struggling because we had COVID on the ward at that time. We were a bit of a, we were locked ward, um, and we had a lot of staff that were off sick, and patients who didn't have COVID were very frightened. And the ones who did have COVID were in their rooms. So I think at any given time we had two patients isolated in their rooms. So possibly they knew it was going on, but they were a bit oblivious to it because they were so busy. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, slightly, some of them were curious, and some of them were like, oh, that looks good. But that was as far as it went because they were just focused yeah. on what they were doing.
And what, what was, um, I don't want to dwell on this too much, but like, as an outsider, it's like, is that, that thing about windows and about uh, inside-outside, is that something that people kind of got attracted to? Or is that something that people get attracted to normally, of kind of thinking about inside-outside, or they try and move away from that? Or is it well, this idea dates back to days when uh, he was doing um, things in his room, and then I noticed what you can see here, kind of, uh, of his bed sheets. And then I said, I invited him to actually do this, that before your time, kind of mm. do this, and he would be quite regular, so he would do it for the whole world, kind of hang the sheets or something like this. So indeed then, because there was no COVID or anything, it was this, the very point was inside and outside communication. Mm. Because uh, don't forget that the, where most of the cars uh, are parked for your house, so everybody at night sees this, so fully, but there's the only window with mm -hmm. kind of color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, and he was fully able to kind of keep on that sort of dialogue with, uh, shall we say, you using word outside kind of uh, the uh, confined uh, spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, there's plenty of visitors who can see because people will pass by there. Yeah. But in, 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 in during this COVID, it had a different dimension. It was just like a, like a beacon of hope or something like that. Yeah. Especially from inside. I, I kind yeah, of, I, I mean, it, 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 yeah, inside. I think um, when when the when the lettering went up and there were words, they were more curious, like oh, okay, and they sort of got what we were trying to do. Right, right. Um, and then when it when it changed, they were like, oh, you've changed the window. Well, I liked it like that. Uh, so well, no, actually, the point is that we just—it's something that to get the, the the patients motivated and participating in something because there was just so little to do, yeah, yeah. and their motivation was so low at the time. They was just like, well, what, why, why do I want to bother with doing art or going doing anything? Because you know, um, the, 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 some of the pictures of the, from the inside when the lights coming through, it just looks incredible, like it's a church. Yes, yeah. is, it, is it still there or is it gone? So it's, 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 there's, there is still something on there, so it's an ongoing project. Yeah. So we did, we, we, I think initially we got the ward manager to agree that we could do it up there for like two weeks, but then we just never took it down, so we just kept changing it. So at the moment we've got something that's been up about, I think it's been up about three months, but somebody's um, in the process of redesigning it. So I think at the moment we've got a hand signal, which is okay. So everything's okay at the moment. We haven't got COVID, and but he he's coming up with a new idea. But that's good. I think in the interior it's very strong because you really have that uh, the the light kind of, um, and then it casts this long kind of colourful shadow, shall we say, mm. on, on the on the floor, and and that's really strong kind of. It's incredibly the clinical yeah. space, isn't yeah. it? They, you know, there is they, they're not allowed. To, they shouldn't really put things on the walls. They shouldn't put anything outside their doors, you know, it is just literally a corridor full of doors. So, yeah, it, it does, it, I, I feel if we took it down, it would be really noticeable <laughs> because it was, they're so used to having colour in that, that mm. space now. Yeah. When I, when William's Day kind of, but then again, they said no, because the cloud tell them what was difficult at the time. So I wanted at night, project actually things on the window you know <laughs> into the corridor kind of because that again would it would have replicated this mm. day light effect uh, but it would but then some people just it was nuisance uh, anyway this was interesting Michaela, sorry Michaela, Amanda <laughs> <laughs> I like it Rainbow, right? <laughs> yeah tell us about this cause... um I think at the time we had real issues with the guys' social distancing. Yeah. So, I mean, being able to manage that was... We, we had chairs that were where we usually they'd all sit together. They were spaced two metres apart. Us as staff were taught trying to keep two... It, it was just... It was on a, in a small ward. It, it was unsustainable. It was unmanageable. We couldn't do it. And it, they were just getting really annoyed about it. So um, they would move their chairs back together. They would, they would purposely get close to staff, and you know, stand back. <laughs> it was just, even oh. thinking back now, it was just an absolutely bizarre time. Yeah. Um, how we could um, 
care for these patients with, with you know, maintain this distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think everybody was, all the rainbows were on the TV and the uh, clap for NHS and stuff. So um, it was just, we wanted to do a painting with, where we were painting at two metres distance away from the, the, the canvas or paper. And so we just decided, to, one of the patients decided, let's do a rainbow. And I, I think they thought it was going to be super easy, but it just <laughs> was so difficult. <laughs> and we got paint all over the carpet and yeah, we got in trouble, but... Um, it was worth it. Yeah, so yeah, quite a few people sort of like, what are you doing? And staff came in as well, you know, people, there were quite a few people that came in and, and then had to go. Yeah. And I don't think it was about the end result or anything like that. So no. what that, what that was, what, what, what we ended up with wasn't important. It was just about, yeah. you know, how, yeah. how um, out of control we felt while we were at that distance. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of the problems with doing the work that we do, work, do on, on Wadden, which is a therapeutic environment where we do a lot of psychological work you, you, and whereas you need to be sort of quite close and mm. you can't sort of mm. have these sort of build up these relationships with people where you were this distance away. Or doing it over teams. Yeah, so like yeah, some of the type yeah, psychologists yeah. Where I guess. With the, I think the, I really like the fact that the, the rainbow was chosen because it was like this universal symbol mm. which you know generally you know Everyone knows the rainbow's that, so it's really like almost like the perfect symbol to try and yes, replicate yeah. and then see it kind of fail <laughs> or you know. It's good. I think we were we were allowed these up for only about a week, um, maybe two. I can't really remember, but it was there was a lot of questioning like, "What are you doing? You know, this is it. We've got COVID on the ward, and you this it felt like." Um, What's the problem that those present? It doesn't really present any problems, but it was almost like, what, what, what's going on? This is serious yeah, 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 stuff yeah, going on, and it felt, I don't know. I mean, there was no, I didn't come up against any sort of criticism, but it was, it was very much like, okay, they need to come up now. Yeah. To me, this was one of the biggest joys during the pandemic when I looked first, I remember, through the uh, double door, and you could see something rather than official COVID kind of mm. measures and things. <laughs> and, it, and it... And it was quite fun. I mean, the guys were like, what are you doing? And I was like, come on, let's do this. Because they, they just couldn't get the two metres because we were having so much problem on the ward. And it was, it was causing arguments. There were, there were incidents because of the... Yeah, yeah. Just uh, not understanding of it. Like, we all live together. What's this, you know... <laughs> Why are you making us do this? So, we they were they were measured out exactly two meters. Do you think Do you think that helped that process to help you? I think so. It made them understand that it, you know how far two meters was. <laughs> yeah, to visualize. And it. and and yeah. obviously then they would we'd we'd stand in them and talk to each other and mm. so there were like little games that we played just impromptu, yeah. you know, what what not planned, just messing about. Or they were trying to jump from one to the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's like playground Dance. markings, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You give yeah. someone a structure, yeah. and they will play with it. Oh, yeah, it, it game, when you saw it through this window, it's just like, okay, there's also a place for jokes, for good time, for, you know. And there were a lot, actually, yeah. you know, it, 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 people then, did, people had to sort of come together.